get up in the air and leave my wing out, dry it off, and check out my uh, ground wire settings again. And we're off and we're flying. About 240 feet in the air, about uh, 24 miles an hour. It's about uh, 7.37, and uh, sort of sat around and waited for the wind to calm down. There's some uh, ugly looking clouds out there, but they're in a distance. We're pretty much surrounded by nasty looking clouds and uh, storms. And uh, we just happen to be right in the middle of a, a, a clear area. As you see, as we're cruising through here, we're making a big turn here. Last night I went out and flew, and there's probably a video out uh, here pretty soon. Uh, flew for a while, and uh, my dual ground I came off, both of them, so. I've ordered a new uh, some new wire that's uh, supposed to be really strong and flexible, some different wire, but uh, I also, uh, what I did with it, had connected it and trying something a little bit different uh, so that it won't, uh, it won't move. I put some wire ties around it. Anyway, we'll see how that turns out. We're about 500 feet. Been flying for about uh, five minutes. And they're doing about 20 miles an hour. Trips are about 3.5 out. When I fly by myself, uh, I normally don't mess with the trips too much uh, because I'm not trying to worry about catching up to anybody or or going slower than somebody. Uh, I just kind of cruise around on my own here. It's a beautiful night. It's just really smooth and uh, just it's just perfect right now. Good about 20 miles an hour. Had a bunch of crickets in my wing, and it was wet from last night sitting out in the uh, cow pasture. And I wanted to get those out, clean those out, get the straw. There's grass, and straw, and hay. And I didn't want to pack it away. I was either going to tighten my wing and, and uh, get it cleaned out today or fly. And, and so uh, I've got the weather is nice enough to go fly. So it's a good thing. We're about 625 feet in the air now. The wing came up. Uh, this wing comes up uh, a, a little sideways. I don't think I had a. There was a, a wind coming across. I tried to launch as much as I could into that wind, but. That runway just doesn't have the width to go right into it, but it's a little bit of crosswind wing over to the side. But uh, you just got to slow down a little bit, get your wing where you want it, and uh, once you get it to where you want it, then crank it up. If you've got a runway as big as this runway, you can do that. So if you're on a smaller runway, you're going to be a little bit harder to work that wing where you want it. The manual says to change the spark plug every 10 hours uh, on this uh, monster, and uh, I, I usually do that. Uh, I buy my uh, spark plugs from uh, Rock Auto, and uh, they're like a dollar fifty. Uh, shipping's probably seven bucks, so I buy uh, a, a box of them, and it works out a good price. The Castro Two Cycle Synthetic uh, TT. Uh, Used to get it out of uh, Summit Racing, and Summit Racing would uh, match anybody's price plus give you either a military discount, uh, uh, so that wasn't bad. I'd usually buy a case of that. Uh, oil prices have gone up uh, compared. I mean, I used to get a really good buy of, on this, and now it's uh, like $13, which some of you may say, well, $13 is not a bad price for a quart. But, uh, I mean, I was getting it for 9 and 10, uh, but it was kind of a sketchy cycle place. 
that uh, now is out of business. But uh, but I always got my products from him. I didn't have any problems with products. So 4,000 RPMs, flying for about 10 minutes, 34 miles an hour. Now down to 4070. Talking to a buddy of mine today on Facebook. He's got a monster and he's got it on a tandem. Pair uh, motor dude. And uh, he was telling me that his RPMs on his monster was around 45, 45, somewhere in there. And uh, normally, uh, unless his tachometer is reading, reading bad, uh, you know, normally around 6,050, somewhere around in there. 6100 is uh, if your tack is reading right. Uh, you know, I've had uh, issues where I couldn't get it up to RPM uh, when my muffler uh, has been stopped up. Like the uh, the silencer, the uh, stuffing inside of it uh, blows out or blows in and it blocks the, uh, the exhaust or the silencer, and then uh, I'll lose power. But I always look at the tip of my exhaust to see uh, if it looks like it's starting to go again. And uh, it seems like at least every year I've got to correct that. Now, if you ask some people, they say it's uh, caused by vibrations. If you talk to some people, they say it's caused by running uh, certain fuels that run hot. And that does it. Uh, you know, it's like, what fuel do you use? Well, if you use that fuel, you know, your starter is going to break. And uh, uh, it, it's vibration. Have your props been adjusted? And uh, it's always vibration and fuel. I'm a little baffled on why it's doing it. Uh, I bought different wire. I connected it differently. But this time, uh, uh, what was really surprising is both uh, of them broke. And they're both connected to a bracket, a same bracket. Uh, it doesn't shift or anything. About 331 feet, and uh, going about 31 miles an hour. And of course, when you break something and you do it, uh, you know, three times in a row, uh, or you have engine outs for whatever reason, you're uh, you don't fly with a whole lot of uh, enjoyment after that. It becomes you're like, okay, they're going to do it again, and so you're worried. And so uh, hopefully uh, we'll get back into the having a good time flying low and just enjoying our flights. But right now it's a little concerning uh, that uh, it might uh, break. Of course, I'm in an area, and I try to stay in areas where if something does happen, I can uh, you know, land. And flying for about 20 minutes, about 375 feet in the air, running about 51 uh 100 RPM. That storm cloud out there is really building up, shooting up, thermaling up. But over here, it's nice and smooth. Wind is in a steady direction. It's not shifting back and forth, so that's a good thing for right now. About five, about 450 feet, about 30 miles an hour. Strobes are on. I've got a helmet strobe on and a hunter strobe on. Right now, I don't have my other strokes. I've got two more strokes that I'll turn on. But uh, the helmet and the uh, hunter is working pretty good. We're going to fly around for a bit, and then I'll come back, and we'll go land, and uh, we'll go from there. Now we're back, and there's the old storm cloud building over there. It's pretty. Like I was talking earlier, it's pretty much uh, surrounded by these, uh, these clouds. That's a pretty sunset.
minutes after 8 o'clock now. Some pretty skies out there. The rays coming off the sun just to shoot through the sky up there. Okay, wing came down nice, didn't slam down on the front end of it, blow the baffles out, so good wing, we're on the ground, nice flight, now let's get this put away before it gets wet. 